Good morning. Happy Saturday. I was asked by a friend um, to put a recipe out there and I thought, why not do a video? I'm bored. So many of you are shopping for hand sanitizer. The shelves are empty. You can't buy it or it's just way overpriced. Um, there are some ways to make your own uh, hand sanitizer. Uh, if you have the products um, and if you don't have the products you can actually still buy the products and it is getting a little lighter because people are picking up on the fact that you can make your own hand sanitizer um, but uh, you can and um, before I start you can also if you have your own aloe plant um, which I've already done but, and for this video, I'm going to be using just the aloe vera gel that you can buy at the dollar store or Walmart or wherever. They are getting um, depleted of aloe vera gel uh, at many stores. Um, you can buy it online if you'd like. Um, don't know if there's a price increase for that, but check out Amazon too. Um, and in this case, it's just, you know, dollar store after sun aloe vera gel. Um, it was three dollars um, but this will go a long way and they have uh, you can only buy three of these at a time so you know no being greedy um, however if you have an aloe vera gel plant uh, in your yard or at a container at your house you can actually extract the gel from your aloe vera plant and that would replace this um, so if you want to go 100% all natural and you have an aloe vera plant, I'd recommend using that first um, uh, instead of this. But if you don't have one, you can use this. Um, the other thing that you're going to need is alcohol. And it has to be 70% 70 per, 70 proof or higher to be effective. Um, so I got this uh, at Walmart. And of course... Alcohol these days is hard to find, so if you want to check out the dollar stores or Walmart or wherever you can find it, or maybe you already have some at home, I've always kept alcohol and peroxide at home anyway. So uh, if you have it, great. If you don't, get you some. And then uh, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can um, use some essential oil. Uh, to make it smell good. Uh, again, you don't have to, but I am going to be using some essential oil. I'm going to use lemon because I love lemon. Um, and uh, it takes about 15 drops. Uh, so, make sure you have a bowl. Um, any bowl will do. I'm just going to use a regular bowl. And on the aloe vera gel, it is a third cup of aloe vera gel to two-thirds cups of alcohol um, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started so you just fill up your measuring cup with your aloe vera gel again this is a third and this just kind of makes up uh, third cup. Get a spoon. Um, just kind of scoop out, you know, everything as best you can. Waste nothing. I'm going to do two thirds cups of alcohol. Remember, it has to be 70% proof or higher for it to be effective. If it's anything lower than 70%, it is not effective. You just kind of pour that in the bowl. I'm going to kind of move the, the, the camera over the bowl so you can kind of see it looks like and you're just going to kind of stir that let's see if I can 
just going to kind of stir it until you get it all stirred up. Um, it does take a little bit of time to kind of break it down and stir in that gel. You can add in more gel, which I'm getting ready to do if you want a little bit thicker of a consistency. And I'll do that right now. Sorry. I just, I like it to be a little bit thicker and it's not gonna hurt anything. It's not gonna deplete your, you know, effectiveness to add more gel. It just gives a little bit more um, consistency and just keep stirring until you break it down. It'll look a little clumpy. Um, and just keep stirring, stirring, stirring. Um, now we're gonna add our uh, essential oil. You can use any kind you want. I use lemon today. Uh, I love eucalyptus though. Um, but you can use any kind you want. Kind of helps take that alcohol smell away too. Um, you can use 15 drops or more, uh, whatever you'd like. Again, it's a homemade, you know, remedy recipe, and it is effective. Uh, in you know, you don't have to wait for a coronavirus outbreak to make this. You can make this anytime. Although it's just easier, you know, to buy it at the store, but you just really can't right now. Um, hardly find any hand sanitizer. I still believe in good old, you know, hot water and soap. Um, but if you're not, you know, near a faucet, then uh, hand sanitizer is important um, to have on hand. So uh, right now we're kind of uh, at home. So you know, washing our hands with uh, hot soap and water is the, is more effective, in my opinion. Um, it's old school, but if we uh, get out and about to have to go get something and we're in public or touch something, it's always good to have your own hand sanitizer in your pockets or purses. All right, so once you're done stirring it up and getting it, you know, the aloe kind of broke down, um, you can you can put it in, in you know, little individual uh, travel size containers. Um, you can save your, if you have bought um, hand sanitizer, you know, when those are empty, save them, kind of rinse them out, um, keep them. Um, I, I use mason jars to initially store it in and uh, just uh, until I'm ready to refill my little to-go uh, store-bought hand sanitizer when it's empty. So I hope that you found this effective. Uh, it's fun, it's something to do while you're sitting at home. Um, and I hope everybody's staying safe. Talk to you later. Bye.